Welcome to Everyday Reviews. We all know the price of gas is ridiculous nowadays, so people are looking for options, and one of those options is personal e-scooters. Yeah, you've seen those rental ones on the sidewalks in some cities, but you know what? A lot of people want to own their own. You see them everywhere right now. All the, the, uh, uh, the food delivery drivers are using them, but there are so many out there and everyone has different needs. So if you've been watching kind of my e-scooter series, you'll know that I'm looking for the perfect e-scooter for myself and everyone, once again, uh, has different needs. You may want something a little bit faster, a little bit smaller. I'm looking for something that's portable, but uh, with a lot of power and good braking, and I basically want the whole package, so I'm looking for the ultimate e-scooter. We are here in Urban Makina in their beautiful new showroom, and once again, this is an unsponsored review. However, I have said this before, is that if you're going to buy one of these e-scooters like this, these things are kind of complex. They have lithium uh, ion batteries, they, they're mechanical, they have hydraulic disc brakes sometimes. So things can go wrong. So you wanna make sure you buy from someone that's quite reputable, that you could actually get warranty or service from them. And that's why we are here in their showroom right now, picking up the latest tester. So uh, we have tested this bad boy, which was the Evolve Corsa. Now that one's like over hundred pounds, it's big, it's bad, uh, but it's not quite as portable as what I would like. Next one we tested was the Evolve Tour XL Plus. If you haven't seen that video, click the link below. And that one, that's pretty well the Goldilocks of e-scooters so far that I've tested. A 600 watt motor, you got 10 inch pneumatic tires, a big long deck, big enough for the kids to go on even. Uh, you have an adjustable uh, neck or stem as well. Um, yeah, it's a good all around scooter. However, I did mention, I do want a little bit more power. I'm kind of a power user, so either I want more power for the rear motor instead of 600 watts, something more, or I wanna try a dual motor out. So today, we are testing this V-Set 8 Plus. There is also an 8, the plus means you have two electric motors. Twin 600 watt motors on each uh, wheel. Now these wheels are different because these are not air filled. They're eight and a half inch opposed to 10 inch and they are solid rubber tires. The advantage is if you're like me, you're not really big on maintenance. Low maintenance tires because you don't have to get any flats or you don't have to keep on checking for air pressure, no pinched uh, tubes or anything. None of that issue with these. And uh, however, you may have a little bit of compromise for ride quality, but we'll get to that when we actually test it out. Speaking of maintenance, this one, instead of disc brakes, we had mechanical discs on the Evolve uh, Tour XL. This one has drum brakes. Advantage here, once again, less maintenance and no squeaking. Pretty well every uh, e-scooter that I've ridden with the disc brakes, they do kind of squeak uh, and no squeaking on this. Let's have a closer look at this VSET 8 Plus. Well, you'll notice it has this real nice kind of green finish. It's all metal through and throughout, which gives it a really high-end premium look. You have some uh, grip tape on the deck. This deck is not as large as that Tour XL. That's one of the largest decks that we've, we've actually encountered. But uh, ample room, you do have a nice kick plate on here. Now on the stem here, Nice thing about this, you have adjustability. So if you have different size riders, you can adjust it for that. Folding handlebars, they're not as easy as uh, that Evolve. You do have to unscrew them instead of just pull, but not that big of a deal, but very, very easy to fold. You only have one notch. You pull the lever, down it comes, it locks into place, and up you go, load it into your car. Uh, total weight of this is around 50 pounds, so it's roughly the same as what that uh, Tour XL is. You know, there are smaller scooters out there. Why I'm looking for a midsize? Because I want comfort. Uh, you may have a need for a smaller one, but if you want to go in the bike lanes, uh, keep up to speed, uh, you don't want something that's going to really be disrupted 
every manhole cover. Uh, you know, you want it to be a non-event. So uh, the bigger they are, I, I guess, you know, and the more heavier they are, the more sturdy they are, especially when they have suspension. This does have the uh, dual suspension front and back, and that's a big plus for it. Likewise, this is pretty cool. Embedded into the stem is an LED light strip. You also have lights on the front and the rear of the deck. You have brake lights that operate on either front or rear brake as well. You have the built-in signal lights on here. So you just hit the button, signal lights come on, and they are auto-canceling as well. If you're interested in purchasing one of these e-scooters or any of the e-scooters that they carry, I'll leave a link for Urban Makina right down in the video description. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra to use that link. It just helps the channel out. Plus, you do get free shipping in the USA and in Canada. All right, time to pack it up, bring it home, give it a good test over the next week or two, and then we'll give you our thoughts while we're riding. All right, let's get started. Kick that kickstand up. We have three different top speeds or steps. We got one, two, and three. Well, one thing about this display, I think it really sucks. It's hard to see when you're actually in the sun or even in the daylight. You gotta basically shade it to see on that Evolve Tour XL. That display was backlit, so it was much easier to see with this one. It's really tough. Okay, so we have the regular controls. We have the rear brake on the left side and on the front brake is on the right side. We have a trigger throttle. And on to the left here, we have our dual motor button as well as a manual bell which i prefer over the electronic ones because usually those electronic ones are they sound pretty anemic pretty bad so we are in three right now and we're cruising along so let's talk about what's powering this scooter we have a 16 amp hour lg battery and i've said this before if you have a choice uh, go for a name brand battery like lg or samsung uh, better quality cells, better overall reliability, and possibly even safer. Um, so this is the LG battery. It takes about four to eight hours to charge, depending how flat the battery is. And range, you're gonna get about 50 kilometers or 30 miles. From it. Of course, those are in ideal conditions if you're probably running at number one and under single motor. Now, if we go into dual motor though, if we press this button, there is a really, really big difference between the single and dual motor. Now, top speed wise, when we actually go and hit top speed, it's not much different with the dual motor. Where you're gonna find the difference is, is for climbing. All right, let's try the wet grass. Single motor, oh yeah, hard. Dual motor, climb up the hill, ooh. And it does it. This thing has a lot of pick up and go. And I climbed pretty well, you know, the steepest hills that we have around uh, my area here. And uh, even stopped in the middle of the hill, it will continue and just start off without issue in the dual motor mode. So uh, I'm about 190 pounds. This scooter, by the way, is 60 pounds. And uh, if you're a heavier rider, like me, uh, you'll have no problem, especially in dual motor. That's the advantage of having the dual motor. So going downhill now one thing we mentioned this has drum brakes front and rear and i you know what i have to say i really prefer the disc brakes over the drums for sure this one here as you can see in this one image here um i came around basically a little hill in a corner and there was a little boy um coming up at the same time and i slammed those brakes on they worked 
but you have to grab a lot of brake. But the advantage, once again, you don't get dirt in them, they don't squeal, so less maintenance overall, but I would actually go with the disc brakes, but that's just me though. If you want no maintenance, go for the drums. You'll just have to pull a little harder. If you are going to be sharing your scooter, for instance, with a younger person, maybe, uh, you know, your kid, depending on what their arm or hand strength is, it might be hard for them to actually pull the levers for the drums. They're actually quite, quite hard to actually get a lot of brake going on them. So top speed on this is 45 kilometers per hour or just under 30 miles per hour. Now this is not the first VSET 8 Plus that I've ridden and I can confirm that uh, the, another one that I rode was quite a bit faster. In fact, I think I was able to get close to 50 kilometers an hour uh, off of it. This one here, I was talking to with Urban Makina and uh, we were sharing some videos and they do think that this one does have a little bit of a faulty trigger area, trigger controller. And they just said, hey, bring it in and they'll replace it. I just haven't had time to do it. So because of that, this one is limited to around, it's around 40, 41 kilometers per hour. But we're cruising up this hill now. Now the more voltage you have, on here, so when it's fully charged, you're at 54 volts, you do get a lot more punch out of it. So if you want full acceleration, the hardest, go for the fully charged. All right, so what do I think about these solid eight and a half inch tires? Well, to be completely honest with you, my very first ride, I was not a fan at all. Um, mainly, well, first of all, they're a little bit harsher than the air filled tires, and those are the only ones that I've actually tested so far. And uh, the solid tires, a little harsher, uh, and also traction wise, you know, it's it's a hard compound. You have uh, it's uh, uh, air filled is a little bit more forgiving. There's a little bit of. Um, kind of bend to the sidewall, even if a slight bit, and it seems that the traction's better. Uh, and you'll really notice it if you do a lot of off-roading, I'm not saying four by fouring or like harsh off-roading, but even some gravel uh, trails. At first I went on the gravel trail and I felt like I was kind of like on marbles. It, it felt a little bit of a, a little uh, wishy-washy, but after about a week of riding this now you know what just like everything you do get used to it i have no issue uh, with these tires at all and the best thing is there is no maintenance you don't have to check for air pressure you don't have to worry about pinch tubes or getting a flat on a ride we do have dual 600 watt uh, electric motors on this vset 8 plus and most of the time, I'm running it on, uh, on dual. Through this controller, you can change all sorts of parameters, um, like e-braking. First of all, I would turn that off. It is just really harsh how the e-brake applies. That's just me though. It's very, very strong. If you want stronger braking, it just feels a little unnatural. And that's the same that I experienced on that Evolve that I just tested recently. And um, one thing you can also change is the acceleration, how hard it hits. So you can go one to five. I have it set at five right now. And uh, under full voltage, it's, it's it's got so much pull, especially from a standstill, or if you're actually going at slow speeds, maybe like doing a U-turn or something like that, be careful. That's where I would actually switch it to single motor because it's just not as harsh. But I do like the hard kick though. That's my preference. A lot of people will think that it's a little bit too much for them. Um, and it, maybe it was at the very first, but after riding this for a week, just give me more, give me more. Deck size though, it's a little bit on the small side for me, 
um, and this is coming straight out from that Tour XL, which had a, a big, you know, 21 and a half inch uh, deck, lots of room, and it was very wide. So this one's a little bit smaller. I wish we could get a little bit more room on it. But otherwise, very comfortable, once again, especially with that dual suspension. And with the weight of this, even though it is 60 pounds with that extra motor in the front, it still feels very manageable, easy to lift that front end up if you want to go over some harsher bumps. And if you actually put your foot at a weight on that rear kick plate, it's even easier to get that front up. You could pretty well do a wheelie if you wanted to. Acceleration wise, this is the quickest scooter that I have ridden so far. It's addictive. Well, the search for the ultimate scooter for myself is really narrowing down after testing quite a few different scooters now, but I've narrowed it down to what my want list is. Uh, first of all, one of the wants, I love the size of these mid-range scooters. They're not too small, they're not too large that, that you know you have to put them diagonally in a vehicle or you need two people to lift them. You know, about 50, between 50 and 60 pounds, really, really nice spot there. It absorbs a lot of bumps. Yeah, you get a lot more stability with that size. Uh, second of all, I think the next scooter or the scooter that I'm gonna buy will be a dual motor scooter. Um, love the extra torque that it provides especially going up hills if you're an, a heavier rider and just the punch that it gives you a lot of fun to ride so yeah it's going to be a dual uh, motor scooter there are a few other scooters though that i want to test out before making my decision one of them is the next step up from the 8 plus which is the 9 plus you get a little bit extra power who doesn't like power so 650 watts in front and the back you also get disc brakes plus you get air filled eight and a half inch tires so um that could be you know, the Goldilocks one for me, you know, and then the next one uh, from Evolve, there's the Terra, which is very similar to this. Uh, you're going to have dual 600 watt motors. You're going to have solid tires, drum brakes like this, except more affordable. So that's going to be an interesting one to test as well. Special shout out to Urban Makina for loaning me these scooters to do these reviews for you. And I'm telling you, it makes a lot of difference putting on, you know, one or 200 kilometers on these scooters over, you know, a couple of weeks than just going and, and doing like a 10 or 15 minute ride. I really do discover a lot of things on here. And these are uh, my real world opinions uh, for sure. If you're interested in this scooter or any of the scooters that they carry, Hit that affiliate link in the video description. Doesn't cost you anything, it just helps the channel out. And those they're really, really good people. They do also have free shipping in North America if you decide to buy a scooter from them. That's it for today's review. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget, helmet on, safe riding.